Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today's video is a little bit different than usual because round two has a product that's a little different than usual. So this is not a model kit. This is a pre-built model from round two. Now last year, round two put out this, a 12 inch model of the USS Discovery in 1 hundredth scale. And this year, they are putting out really the same model, but in a pre-built version. Now, it's a great looking box. You've got a wonderfully clear window here so you can see the model you're buying. Uh, the box art itself is really a lot like the box art uh, that was done on the USS Enterprise as seen on Discovery. So you kind of have those muted colors. You get some line art up here that kind of reminds you of the opening titles to Star Trek Discovery. Uh, you get some of the legal disclaimers across the bottom. Along the back, you just get a couple facts. It's 12 inches long. Uh, you get a little bit of a description of how the display stand works. And across the top, you get a couple screenshots of the discovery as seen in the show. All right, now here's the only hobby tool we're gonna use on this. Uh, we're just gonna get this guy open up. Looks like there's a piece of tape on just both sides. And then we should be able to open that up and take out the tray. nice about a box like this is if you do want to keep the box or keep it on display uh, very easy to get put back in all right so we have just a double piece of plastic holding it in place so really nice packaging great for display and really protective for the model itself Before we start looking really closely at the pre-built one, let's take a moment to look at the one they put out last year and remember just a few things about it. Uh, first, there were quite a few clear parts. So you had a clear dome here um, that you kind of put up against the frame. Um, a couple clear parts were things like this, uh, the front of the nacelle. This is all one clear part. So I masked off these three little bits to let some light shine through there, but that was all one clear part. And you had a clear part here you had to kind of paint and decal along the side. And having a chance to have looked at the pre-built model, one of the things that they did the best was the handling of those clear parts. So here you can see that part of the dome really nicely done in white. Uh, that just looks absolutely phenomenal. Next, you've been able to see they really are able to pick out kind of the detail on that uh, front of that warp nacelle. So you can see they've done a really pale blue gray right there for those three spots. And then a very nice blue application here with just a little bit of separate lines going across. Along the back, you've got some really nice red painting on what was a clear part on the kit. Uh, to kind of for those back engines. And overall, the nicest thing about this pre-built kit is you don't have to worry about decaling it yourself and getting those decals to line up perfectly. Uh, the applications here really are wonderful. You can see the details lined up perfectly on the raised sections. Uh, there's no pieces kind of mismatched or pieces that don't line up. And those windows really look absolutely wonderful. Great contrast with those showing up against the kind of darker color. Some of the things that were really hard when you build this yourself are these decals that kind of wrap around the edge uh, to provide the detail on the side. And once again, just these applications are just done phenomenally. No wrinkles, um, no problems, no bubbles. I'm not sure if these are decals or paint applications, um, but or 
some sort of printing they do, but they look just absolutely wonderful. We'll kind of pull my kit back in here. And you know, I did spend a lot of time on my decals, but you'll be able to see, you know, there are some places where they simply don't line up properly. Um, so we have the kit you built yourself here. You have the pre-built kit here. And I'll leave it to you guys to kind of take a look. And, but you'll be able to see, you know, there are some parts here where I don't have it quite lined up on the raised section. Uh, you'll be able to see uh, back here a little bit of decal hanging over and something like a little bit of a wrinkle back here. So no matter how much time, you know, I spend on my decals, small things like those kind of creep in. Um, so this really is better than I can do building the model myself. Uh, the colors that they've chosen really are nice and accurate. And even going across there on the side, wonderful windows on the saucer. Now the kit does come with a pretty nice stand. It's the same stand that was included in the original kit. Um, so it's a ball joint design. Now this really is an absolutely gorgeous display piece. Now it's not really a model kit, so if the fun for you is building a kit, painting a kit, decaling a kit, uh, this really probably is not the product for you. But if you're just looking for a wonderful display piece of the USS Discovery or any Star Trek ships, this really is a fantastic piece. You know, I was actually really worried I was worried when I heard about this because I wasn't sure how much detail they'd be able to do, how well they'd be able to capture it. Uh, sometimes you really hear about pre-built models and they end up looking just so toy-like. The detail applications um, just look like globs of paint. Um, you can tell where they cut corners, uh, where they decided not to do things, where they decided entire sides wouldn't be done because it would be hard to get in or behind something. Uh, so to see this, and really every surface does have that wonderful Aztec detailing. Um, this is just very well done. Now, I've never really bought the Eagle Moss ships. Eagle Moss is a subscription service where you can subscribe and get ships in the mail every month, and or you can buy a few a la carte. Uh, they do have what they call their XL line, which are kind of bigger ships. And they do have a USS Discovery XL that is about $75. This one from round two is about $100. And since I'm not really interested that much in a subscription service like that, I haven't looked closely at the Eagle Moss ships. I'm going to put up some pictures right now of what the Eagle Moss Discovery is, what it looks like for $75. And then we'll come back to this and kind of take a look at what you get for that extra $25. Um, so here is an Eagle Moss Extra Large USS Discovery for $75. Here is kind of the top view of the ship. Here is the underside of the ship. And now let's go back to what round two has done for us. And clearly a world of difference for that $25. Uh, so if you want to put the time in yourself and spend $30 to $40 and a lot of hard work decaling the ship, you can end up with one like this. Uh, for $75, you can get one like the Eagle Moss ship. Or for about $100, you can get one like this pre-built, done for you, that you don't have to decal yourself. Um, and really we should have expected that round two uh, would do something so detailed and so well done like this. Um, once again, I know so many people in the comments are going to be saying um, they would never buy a pre-built kit. They like a kit they build themselves. They enjoy the decaling, the painting, and I'm one of those guys too. I want to build one myself, but I understand that not everyone does. And I absolutely love that Round 2 has put out this product for those customers. So my final thoughts 
is, while it's not a model, and if you're looking for something to build, paint, decal, and weather, this wouldn't be the product for you. If you're looking for a wonderful display piece of the USS Discovery, this is a great way to go. I hope that this video gives you guys a good idea of what this display piece is like, how detailed it is, what it might look like on your shelf, and hopefully it helps you guys out to have seen it. Now, thank you all very, very much for following the channel, following our builds and our videos. And in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be getting back to some build videos on this channel. Uh, we're going to do some retro and vintage Star Trek kits in the next few weeks. So please stay tuned to follow those. And once again, thank you all very much.